Hi everyone, welcome to Kairos House. Today we'll be unboxing the Shimano Altegra R8050 Di2 front and rear derailleurs. Okay, let's get straight into it. On rip the box, I've pre-opened it. Uh, there's nothing in there. So the first one we'll be doing is this open one, and it is the front. Here's the front derailleur. Let's just put that one out of the way. Okay, so this front derailleur, derailleur, I always say derailleur. I don't know why. It's one of my little quirks. Um, cost me 116 pounds from Wiggle. Not sponsored by Wiggle. I'm not paid by Wiggle. That's just where I buy my stuff. So we have the uh, Shimano Altegra r850 um it is a 2 by 11 speed it's for road try and see x or cross so let's get it open underneath let's open up the box it's nicely packaged And the bits are actually out of the packet because I filmed this yesterday but managed to delete all of the footage, so I'm redoing it. Um, in the box comes this front derailleur. A little packet of plastic with these two bits in. We'll come to those shortly. And the instruction manual, the user's manual. But we're not using it, we're just looking at it. So, we'll get straight into it, we'll undo the pack. We'll check that out. I think I got an electric shock there. I didn't, but it felt like it. Okay, so this is the beauty. Shimano Altegra. The R8050 Di2. It comes with a nice warning on the top. With a finger with no. So do not put your finger in it. Or do not touch it while it's electrified or something. So we'll just spin it around and have a look. And there's the um, official number, the FD for front derailleur R850, made in Japan, which is cool. Um, that's the pretty much the workings. Um, you can just see uh, there above my finger, the round hull. That is where the DI2 cable goes in. It also comes with a uh, not a warning, but a label on the front here, if I can just get it up close. Um, it wants you to have one millimeter to three millimeters gap between the top of the tooth and the cage. Because I'm running oval chain rings, um, my gap has to be five, um, but one to three is normal. And we've also got you can just see uh, that screw there. That is the high, the high screw. I can't um, locate the low one at the moment because it may not be in the right position. I've had a look. I've had a pretty good look at this now. I can't locate the low. Um, around the back, we have um, this silver round bit. That is the um, screw you can just see there the silver one the round one uh, in there somewhere that is the set screw to set it against your frame and this is the brazon uh, attachment here yep that just unscrews screw that onto your brazon attachment set the limit set the set screw and then um, do the high and low as you need to. Okay, the two bits of equipment in the packet with the derailleur are this metal object. I still don't know where it goes. I've had a look. I've had a look around the derailleur. Does it poke through that hole? No. If you can leave in the comments me where that goes, that would be appreciated because I haven't got a clue. Um, it's tiny, it's got a little, like a, I don't know, like a knee slider, protective bit. Um, it may be to go on the 
trailer somewhere to stop chain rubbing? I'm not sure. Please let me know in the comments where that little bit of metal goes. As for this bit of plastic, this is the uh, DI2 cable cover. Fits in there and gives you a little bit of gives you a little bit of cable around there. Okay, it's it's round like the uh, the end of the DI2 plug, so that's where I reckon it goes without any um, help from the instructions because it doesn't have it. I reckon that fits in there. So we'll just weigh it up like we always do, and then we'll move on to the rear one. So we'll bring in our trusty scales. They're zeroed, they're in grams, and it is 129 with the metal bit 131, with the plastic bit 131. That plastic bit doesn't weigh anything, it's amazing. So here's the rear, wrong end of the box. Here is the rear, it is the rear derailleur R8050 short, I'm going to say short cage, but the S obviously stands for something else. Short stock? I don't know. It says maximum 30 teeth, but I am running it on a 32. Um, you just got to do the B screw, just screw it all the way. Um, I won't be running big ring on the front and big ring on the back. Um, because I've got synchro shift, it stops me from doing that. So running a 32 isn't a problem. I've done it before on a short cage derailleur. It's not a problem at all if you're thinking about doing it. So in the box comes the instructions, which we won't look at, and also a blank, which we'll just take out. This is a DI2 blank plug or blanking cap. That's what I think it is. So I'm going to shove it in where it goes on the derailleur. So let's open the derailleur up, the rear one. Mm, that's pretty tasty. So I'm just going to chuck that in there because that's where the cable goes. And it goes like that's where the TI2 cable goes. So um, it's kind of looks like a machine. It's very angled. I'm very impressed. So on the back, we've got the uh, guide pulley at the top. If I held it the right way up, that would probably be better. We've got the guide pulley with the massive teeth and the tension pulley with the smaller teeth. Um, that obviously will sit down like this. The hanger will be up in the air. Yeah, and that will sit down like that. So the tension pulley that's the one that keeps the tension on the chain and the guide is obviously does its job. It guides the chain off of the cassette around through onto the tension pulley, blah, blah, blah. You all know how derailleur works. Um, that's really loose, so it can just hang at once. Okay, we've got the B screw, uh, which is the silver one there, and we've got a high and low. These are Allen, uh, Allen keys, probably two mil by the looks of them. So we've got high and low adjustment, a B screw adjustment. Um, what else have we got around here? And let's just push it over, if I can. There we go. Right, so that clears that out a little bit more. Um, looking round, whoa, that came out of nowhere. It's all nicely lubricated, ready to put on the new bike. I'm not gonna put it on my current bike. Um, this will be going on the new build, the R9, for those of you who are following my channel, um, which is due pretty soon, I would think. Um, so, uh, we've got an arrow there, so it tells you which way it's spinning round. Guide pulley, as you can see, and this will have tension or T pulley. Yep, tension pulley, that's fine. Made in Japan. Covered in grease. Let's just have a nice look at it. Okay, so let's put it back. And that will be pretty cool. I'm looking forward to, to uh, using that. 
obviously I'll have to update these both on the DR2 app uh, when I put them on my bike. So let's get them weighed, uh, including the blank, which we'll take off at the moment. So the derailleur is 240 grams. With the blank, it is 240 grams. Uh, this one cost me, uh, well, off the top of my head, 140 five pounds um so looking forward to getting those let me just bring back up the uh front let's put this off the camera so these two will be going on the new bike that way around front and back so that is it for this edition of Cairo's house thanks very much for watching thanks for subscribing thanks for all your comments they're brilliant i try and answer everyone and we'll see you on the next one. Take care, bye.